Alright, what's up YouTubers, and um, today's April 4th, 2011, and I have found out some great news. Um, there is a 4.3.1 jailbreak released, untethered. As you can see, I just jailbroken my iDevice. And, so that means there's no need to downgrade anymore. And, hold on, I'll just confirm to you that this device is 4.3.1 and I got battery percentage while jailbreaking and all of you are wondering hmm what's this jailbreak that he's talking about and I'm talking about <clears throat> um, red snow and oh look it also gives you multitasking features once you jailbreak with red snow so I never seen that before so that's pretty cool um, <clears throat> Okay, hold on, let me get this in so you guys can see. Alright. You can see I'm using a... It's a little blurry, but... Hold on, guys, let me fix that. Um... Anyway, it's a little bit blurry, but it, that says 4.3.1, and uh, the person I found this out from was <clears throat> a person, um, is this YouTube video? If you search 4.3.1 onto their jailbreak, um, as I did right here, just like that. You should find a video that has 4.3.1 untethered jailbreak tutorial, red snow, Mac, Windows, and all that. Um, <clears throat> I will put this video in the description box because I will not be playing it. And uh, I will put all the downloads in the description box too. So, um, <clears throat> alright, here's what you're going to do. You're going to download red snow and I will put that in the description below. Alright, since I have Red Snow saved already in a file, you're gonna open that file and open Red Snow. See, you got a screen like that. And you also have to download your 4.3.1 IPSW. And I will have the link in the description box for that too. So you click on Browse, and after that, you, um, yeah. you find your firmware. And after that, you put in the firmware, it should load up and all that. And just put install Cydia and install battery percentage. And then you just wait for your iPod to load up and all that. And then once it reboots, your iPod should have Cydia on it. Then you open Cydia, and then after that, it has to finalize all its updates until your iPod reboots again. <clears throat> and then after that, your jailbreak should be complete. Nice one! Don't forget to subscribe and add me as a friend or send me comments on my channel.